Hello my friends and welcome back to Celesta. We're pushing on into the area where we've been before. Not really much to say or do here. We've done it before so we know what to expect within reason. Big pile of rations in there. This is the guy that explodes when you talk to him. Please don't kill me. What are you doing here? I'm just a worker. I'm just are a you worker. Tattooed with an A. I, I, you don't understand. Are you one of them? What of what? I'm just trying to survive. I had no choice. What does the tattoo signify? It's... I can't... Uh... Uh... He's dead. How is that possible? How is Magic. it possible? He was doomed from the start. He's dead, Jim. I don't think there's anything around here. But there might be areas where I previously couldn't get items because they were somewhere where I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't access because I didn't have Misty Step. Expected. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah, it's in my. If I remember correctly, there's no enemies in this bit anyway. Of course, casting uh, magic detection means we have to put up with the game constantly going magic detected as we walk around all the time. Okay. Primed short bow. Primed. Don't know if you'd want to waste. Ah, oh, well, whatever. It, I was just thinking, you know, whether you would really want to uh, waste um, enchant, you know, enchantment materials on a primed short bow. Emperor's eye. We have an emperor's eye, do we not? I thought we had one. Do we use it for something else? Oh, we found a blood daffodil, so I guess I can construct these. I thought we had an Emperor's Eye. I 
Oh well, whatever. We don't have the Tiger Drake scales anyway, but I do have an opportunity here to make some more bolts. So. enemies up here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we should probably some high-grade arrows ready to go. Although I'm not actually 100% sure how you change them in fight, to be fair. to the library with the evil spiders that are uh, really difficult to kill. Look at this place. So many books. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this leads to the orb, which then triggers the plot. Too easy. Okay. Once again, it's just another thing that we've seen, so let's skip it. Now, somewhere around here, we also had the materials for uh, making weapons. It might be that up there, actually. We might, we might be able to make a, uh, you know, a sword of acuity or whatever you want to call it. I was pretty sure the spiders were around here somewhere. <clears throat> it's a block! Is this one of those rocks that... <laughs> I thought it was around here we got attacked by spiders, but... I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> Spider thief! Spider thief! <laughs> Heave 
Ho! Wouldn't it be fun to see something like this in real life? But, uh... <laughs> that's definitely not happening. At least this time I kept plenty of spells, so... We won't have such an unbelievably awful time against the spiders. I wonder if we'll make our check this time. She looks like an empress. Oh, the roll is being made. She doesn't bear the proper regalia. Not for a man of Callan. More likely she was a wizard. A master of the Arcanium. Could this have been her home? Possibly. Her bones are probably buried somewhere under all these bloody books. You are an idiot. <laughs> To be fair, increasing her stats actually makes it more likely that we're going to win those rolls. But I don't actually think it matters in any way, shape, or form. Okay, off we go. Isn't there something there? No? What's that? Just a wall? Okay. It's just a wall? Oh, no, no. There's a book there. There we go. Interesting. This is the it's book. It's in remarkable condition, considering how long it's been here. And I should care because... Who knows what it might contain. But it's it looks a book. Like it's locked. Take it. Perhaps someone in Kerr Kiflin will know how to open it. Indeed, but we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, that's the clue that you can't avoid getting. As it were. There's no roll. There's no check on that one. You just take the book. But I mean, look, it's a book. One book in a library full of books that are everywhere, floating around, open, closed, shelves full of them. Like, why that book? <laughs> and not one of the million other books. If I remember correctly, you make a bridge here and then a bridge back. In the Badlands. I know. Expect the unexpected. That's right, we have to go down to the lower area. I can't remember where the spider battle is. Oh, it's here, where the spider egg is. Because of course it is. Oh, is that a box that I couldn't get to because it was too far away? Oh, I can actually probably misty step to that one if that's how that one is supposed to be obtained. I can't remember which boxes I missed because there was no no way to get to them as standard. Well, I think that was one of them.
Okay, so that ladder leads back up to the higher area. I think this box is unobtainable without Misty Step. Or some insane jump capability. Crafting short bow of accuracy, sweet. Crafting white burn. We definitely did not collect these last time. Prime short sword, blood of Salasta. Well, I have the Prime Short Sword, I just don't have the Blood of Salasta. What is this? 1 D6 plus 1. Attack bonus 1, damage bonus 1. Yeah, I mean, plus 1 is, is great. I just, I would really rather enchant a... Uh, if I can, I would much prefer to enchant a, uh... Hmm. Um... Brain melting away here. Evo. I'd much rather, uh, enchant a, um... A 1 to 8 weapon. Say a light crossbow, for example, or a longbow. I'm pretty sure that the short bow, the only advantage the short bow has is it's a uh, a simple weapon, which means that people with who don't have martial proficiency can use it. That's not really an issue for me. The longbow is a superior weapon, and so is the uh, so is the crossbow. It's just that it's a simple weapon. In fact, the the, uh, the short bow seems to have no advantage at all. The uh, sorry, the short bow seems to have no no advantage at all over the light crossbow. Just it's just worse. Uh, right. I don't see the spiders. So the only thing I can think of is that they don't spawn unless you're at a certain point on the map. <coughs> We've got this other box that we can't get. Even with Misty Step, we can't you get see it. see that? Is that a Sorak? I don't think so. Yes. Uh, how did I get up there again?
way to get to that. Sadly. Yep, no way to Misty Step over there either. A bit unfortunate. I figured that she might be able to Misty Step, as I said previously when we were here, Misty Step from here to here. But, uh, she can't get up there. Only the thief can get up there. Are those webs? Yes. They're webs. So what's funny is we're going to be able to explore up here, we're going to see that there's no spiders, and then suddenly, when we go like here or here, or this rock I think triggers the event, spiders are just going to appear out of nowhere. Gold locket, primed battle axe, shield plus one, huh. Interesting. Uh, interesting because uh, I don't remember that box last time. In theory, our ambidextrous friend here could use that shield plus one. We'd only be getting the dex bonus from our feet here. We wouldn't be uh, we wouldn't be enjoying its main uh, purpose. Okay, he can get up there. But she cannot. Yeah, I needed flight really, but I think flight is a wizard spell. Levitate apparently doesn't work. Now, one thing that is definitely cool um, is now we have everything that we need to craft this. Eight to one plus one attack and damage bonus seems pretty reasonable. This thing's amazing. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> one, one to six plus one to six acid and an attack bonus of plus one. That's uh, pretty amazing. We can also make the short sword of acuteness, but who cares? In 
fact, let's get that crafting going now. What? Oh, I need a... You need a Malacanian Rosary, the enchanting tool. I didn't think this through. I thought it was a craft, a uh, friggin' smith's thing. It's not. It's actual. It's an enchanting thing. I don't have the rosary. And I don't think I have the option to buy one either. So unless I find one, I'm sole on making that. At least in this dungeon. Spiders are coming the moment I push this. Uh, hang on. But the dead could hear you. Yep, spiders just teleported in. Light is always welcome. Let's go with empowered. Oh, except I can't see the spectral spider to go for it. I think this is this is the only fight that's left before the campfire anyway. Wrong there. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I need to get hidden and then start firing. Can always use the old ladder again. Uh, let's start with. Should we start with Bless?
Here they come, boys. One foe down. Okay, got one. I need to disengage here because I need to be stood here. I need this guy in the center. There's still a real possibility that we uh uh we take serious damage here or, or even have people fall down. So they need to be in such a way They need to be in such a way that they are, uh, that the cleric's in the middle and that he can bring them back to life as required. Oh, it's a 20! <clears throat> yeah, I haven't got the rosary, the enchantment tool. What an oversight by me. But of course... I didn't have any of those things, so I didn't realize that they were an enchanting thing, it, although it should have probably been obvious. Okay, these guys will hold for a while, so let's go with... Herald of Pain! reasonable damage to spider. Two damage is actually the lowest I'm allowed to do and I've got two twos there. These guys are missing uh, way more than they used to. Oh, come on. Killing me. Okay, I don't have a shot on anybody. far away. Or well, the angle is also bad. Next turn. Ah, well, oh, uh, my characters are actually overweight, so that's probably what's slowing them down a little bit as well. Need to get rid of those spiders. None of these are uh, good moves. Really don't want to hit my own guy here. Obviously, she can't melee for Toffee. Pretty sure these guys resist this. Okay, now we hit him. Hold 
confirm. You've endured worse. Let's not give up our spell slot for that, shall we? All right, good. Bashed. Okay, now we're in a good position. Let me tell you how I really feel. Most oh. oh, come on. But you can see that my characters, even just one level, has made such a huge difference. I'll get you yet. Okay, resists blunt. I think it also resists pierce. That was a hell of a hit. Can you please not miss? There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Victory is mine. Of course, guiding bolt means I uh, landed the hit no matter what. Oh. Hey, that was pretty big for a second wind. This guiding bolt is actually the only thing I have that's effective against these enemies. They really don't like it, but of course you can still miss the roll. At least I've got plus one on the roll now compared to the last time I fought these things. I just swung my torch at it because it has like one health. You're still in the fight, my friend. And the dirt was gone. Okay, <clears throat> we know that there are no more enemies now, so it's just campfire o'clock next time. I definitely think that there's potential for this guy to uh, run this axe and this shield together. If only I had the crafting tool. If only I had the crafting tool, I could make it. But anyway, we know that there is one that's uh, there's a pri there's a plus one weapon in this area because we picked it up last time. We also know that it will probably be possible to come back here at a later point and open that box. Ugh. <sighs> 
so her corpse is going to uh, follow us around as required. All these books floating around. I can't grab them. If I remember correctly, it was this chest contained the plus one weapon. Oh, magnificent greatsword. I don't remember finding this last time. Wow, that's definitely magical. I don't regret taking the ambidextrous trait either, even if uh, even if I end up using a uh, a sword and shield or uh, or a two-handed weapon or whatever, <clears throat> because these games. I mean, at least in D&D, &D, it always ends up the case that the best, the most powerful characters are ones with, uh, at least warriors, are two-handed weapon ones where, you know, one weapon does poison and the other does, you know, fire or, ac um, or acid or some other thing. Yeah, we could definitely uh, we could definitely tank hard with this. That's for for sure. left to do is the silly puzzle. What kind of route? I'm just wondering actually, maybe that I stepped on some magical rune. Um I guess there's a reason for that. Maybe that box has a different weapon in it each time. Because I'm pretty sure that that was the box where we found the plus one short sword. <laughs> last time. Uh, nothing. Very funny. Ha! Found one! Ah. Huh. Another one! Here! Whoa! Whoa. Oh. It's the sound of the police. Oh, I didn't click on that one. Skip it. Probably. Even from We've seen it. Let's move on. Let's quickly go and click on this as well. I love how her body just teleports around. <laughs> pretty uh pretty metal that another statue these guys we actually this one I think we rolled on successfully last time now this is an emperor a famous one too Lerithia Imradir he was emperor at the time of the cataclysm. So we actually saw that. Okay, and I think that is us having cleared this whole area. Apart from that one box that we can't get to. We cleared everything else. 
Now we have a campfire, and then we have the, uh... Here it is. And then we have the insane battle in the next room. <coughs> Just a little bit unfortunate that I don't have the enchanting tool to enchant a weapon, but it's not going to make the biggest difference, I don't think. You must gather your, gather your party together. Come on. <laughs> she was left there like, uh... Yeah. She was left there for 10 hours or however long it was, just left her body there. Uh, she'll wake up when she's hungry. She'll get up when she's hungry, don't worry. <laughs> Okay. Alright, so we're a level higher than we were last time. This sky enjoys a slightly improved capabilities over last time. Okay, let's give her the two high-grade healing potions, because she's often for want of things to do. Did I find another magical rucksack, then? Or did I just forget to equip that? I guess I just forgot to equip that. Okay. Let there be light. Light source... Torch is your primary weapon. Uh, pass these potions along. I was going to say, potions are probably not the most useful thing for this character because he's always busy casting something. Gold locket. Okay, um... Let's start with the most deadly of poisons. We'll go all out on this one. Basic poison bolt times 10. Do I not have any? Um, additional bolts, I guess not. Poisons are only really useful for this character because he gets uh, free he gets the ability to use an item for free every turn. For everyone else, it's not worth the price of admission, unfortunately. Uh, Bolt. That should be him. Arrow. That's you. No idea what these arrows do, but I'm sure we're going to find out. Can we just lighten this guy's load a little bit? Going for the defensive play here.
Hmm. Yeah, let's move some of these rations across. Just carrying too much stuff, man. For some reason, he's got some arrows. Probably should have moved the rucksack onto a, you know, a carry character that can actually carry a ton. The only problem is, is that it's just very easy to uh, make this character uh, overburdened. Okay. Nine more hours are required to make more arrows. So I guess if I want more arrows, I'm going to have to actually uh, wait. Uh, more bolts, sorry. It's the bolts that are not finished. Fifteen and fifteen. Okay, I mean, fifteen's what we have. Fifteen's what we have. Okay, that's it for now. Join me next time when we're gonna deal with this. What was an incredibly difficult fight. Let's just hope that we can uh, actually do something. And that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>